me and watch this and to redo or to overdo what's been done wrong in the earth realm. God has called for you to become correctors. Somebody say correctors. What, what is a corrector? It's one that corrects. And so you're going to be able to see things uh, and you're going to have a passion about stuff that's wrong and that passion is going to cause for you to want to just see it done right. God is about to increase your influence so that you're no longer just having church. He called for you to be more than just a local ecclesia. He's called for you to be more than just a local assembly or a local body of believers, but he's called for you to be transformed. And see, you can't be a transformer if you don't understand the strategies for the shield. Man, one of my favorite one of my favorite cartoons was was Transformers. Man, and I mean, you know, I, I like Optimus Prime and I like, you know, Bugs. Yeah, I like all of them, you know. Uh, but there were certain things um, when they were getting ready to fight a battle, they couldn't turn into the truck or the vehicles. But something took place. And they were transformed back into machine yeah. robots. That's right. yeah. Because certain battles couldn't be fought trying to ride. Right. Certain battles have to be fought standing flat foot. And I came to speak to Transformers tonight and tell you, you've been trying to fight some battles, but you've been trying to ride over. But what God said, you ain't got to ride this out. He said he's about to set your feet as high as feet. And you're going to be able to transform. And you're going to be able to stand flat Let me, let me stop, stop. Oh, but Jesus, he comes. And he shows us uh, that he has more in store for us today that's going to take us all the way. Can you just look at somebody and say, you ain't going a hard part of the way, but you're going to go all the way. Uh-huh, yeah, he, he's not going to just bring you a little ways out. Oh, uh, but God's about to bring you all the way out. He's not just about to help you get through some stuff. Oh, uh, but God's about to take you to your next level. Is there anybody here tonight that really want to go somewhere in God? What God told me to tell you, he set a strategy for your shit. Go ahead and unpack this thing because we got we got a little we got some we got some ground to cover. First of all, let me let's look at this. Come on, go ahead and flip it over. Uh, I want you to look at this word transform because transform means to change in form, appearance, or structure. Uh, to metamorphosis, uh, it means to change in condition, nature, or character. It means to convert. So when we look at the word transform, it means that there's got to be a change that's going to take place somewhere, somehow, and with somebody. And not only will it take place uh, with somebody, somewhere, somehow, what's going to happen is what you used to see, you won't see no more. Uh, and I came to speak to you tonight and tell you what God told me to tell you. There's been some fights you've been fighting for a couple of years, but he said he's about to transform you. And so the stuff you used to wrestle with, you ain't going to have to wrestle with no more. The head, the stuff you used to deal with, you ain't going to have to deal with it no more. The demons you've been bearing for generations, you ain't going to have to. Because he said he's about to change in form. Your appearance, your structure. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't look like what I've been through. Uh, so because God's about to transform me. Uh, you thought you thought I was bad then, uh, but wait till you see God flip the script of my life. You thought I was doing I know somebody was hating on you because you got your hat done. But baby, the way till they got it. You thought you had some folks looking at you upside your head. Oh, but baby, they showed up for to look at you funny because when God get through transforming. He said the transformation is necessary because you become too common in your local place. He said that the transformation is necessary because you become too common. 
common in your local place. See, when you hang around folks for too long, uh, they begin to devalue your anointing. When you hang around folks for too long, they begin to they begin to become you become predictable to them. They already know what you're gonna do before you do it. They already know what you're gonna say before you say it because you become too common. And so God says, I'm gonna keep you as you, but I'm gonna transform your appearances. I'm gonna transform your form. I'm gonna transform your structure. I'm gonna transform your condition. I'm gonna transform your nature. I'm gonna transform your character. And so the people, when they look at you again, you're gonna have to reintroduce yourself. I look at you and say, you don't know nothing about me here. You don't know me. Let me introduce myself. When you saw me last week, I was broke, busted, and disgusted. But now you see me, I'm blessed and highly favored. When you saw me last week, I was depressed. I was down and out. I was about to give up. But let me introduce myself. My name is not defeat. My name This is the Transformers Conference because God said there's a whole bunch of folks in this region that he's about to transform. So, 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 let me, let me, please stop, please stop, please be seated, please be seated. So now here he, uh, let's look at this. Uh, the next thing I want to go to is, I want to deal with this, is the strategy. Somebody say strategy. Strategy. Now, what a strategy is, it's the science and art of employing political, economic, psychological, and military forces of a nation or group or nations to afford maximum support to adopted policies in peace and in the war. What are you just saying? God said, I'm giving you a strategy because I'm empowering you, watch this, to employ, uh, in other words, you're finna be the boss. Look at somebody say, real boss, I'm a real boss. Somebody shout, I'm a real boss. Oh, uh, come on, trust the neighbor, say, I'm a real boss. The reason why he's making you a boss is because they haven't paid you what you're really worth. And so if they won't value you, then you pay your stuff. I can't even speak to some entrepreneurs. I can't even speak to some entrepreneurs tonight. You see, that's why I told you, you ain't gonna be able to shout. I'm trying to catch some things. I'm trying to get your mind into where you already are 20 years from now. And so I'm speaking to some entrepreneurs, Fortune 500 companies, CEOs. I'm not speaking to, I'm not speaking to nobody that just coming in entry level. I'm talking to the big boss. I'm talking to six figure brothers and so. He said, this is the science and the art of employing. Now, what are you employing? What are, what are you the uh, CEO over? Uh, the political, economic, psychological, and military forces of a nation. He says, in other words, I'm about to make you the head and not the tail. I'm about to make you above and not beneath. I'm about to make you the lender and not the... But watch this, because he says this is a nation. And you got to understand in every kingdom, every kingdom includes these components. You have to have these components in every kingdom in order for the kingdom to really be a strong and vibrant civilization. You got to have the political aspect. You got to have the economical aspect. You got to deal with the psychological aspect and you got to have the military aspect. Why? Because you got a lot of stuff that you're going to have to deal with and these four elements will afford you the opportunity to be at your best and be successful in what God has called for you to do. But understand now, this is why he's, why he's giving you the strategy. He said because he wants you, he wants you uh, to afford the maximum support. Uh, watch this. In other words, he says, I'm about to allocate resources your way. He says, I'm about to give you stuff your credit could get. I'm about to give you stuff you couldn't work for. You can work overtime, under time, through time, and around time. Anybody got a vision that your income can't afford? I said, is there anybody working on some stuff that you know your income can't afford? Well, listen, God told me to tell you, he ain't standing about your income. He's looking at your outcome. And he said, if you stay planted. Uh, but 
watch this. That's, that's, he said, I'm about to give you, I'm about to allocate to you and appropriate to you resources to support. Watch this. To support the adopted policies. So you got to understand uh, while policies are significant because without policies, you'll be like a, bar a barbarian. Anything goes. And so you create policies to establish a, a system of government or a system of order. And so now, when you have a policy, that's where we get the right to vision. Y'all thought I had to left my text. That, that's why we have the right to vision and make it plain set that on the table so that whoever read it can run with it. See, what God is calling for you to do, if you have the vision, you have the dream, it's got to be important enough to you for you to write something down. Uh, God told me to tell you, don't be a captive of your mind and your memory. Uh, look at somebody say, don't be a captive of your mind and your memory. Too many times we become captives of our mind and our memory. Uh, we think just because we know it now, we're going to know it in 10 minutes. You don't even know people, that's why we don't even know four phone number now. Yeah, because, you know, uh, cell phones and everything that, that messed us up. You probably know your mama no phone number because they, they number ain't never changed. It's been the same number, 727 or whatever it is down here. 864. But well, watch this. He says to, uh, to, the, uh, to support the adopted policies, this is support that got me. He says, in peace and war. So you got to understand what God's about to do to you, for you, and do you. He says it's going to support you uh, whether you got good days, whether you got bad days. He says whether it's in the peace or whether it's in war, whether you got it going on or whether it looks like all stuff is breaking loose in your life, whether you come or whether you're about to flip out, God says I'm about to give you stuff, I'm about to allocate blessings to you, you're about to be blessed in your good season, you're about to be blessed in your bad This, this is the strategy. This is the, the strategy because he says now when I transform you, I can't transform you and not give you a purpose. See, I, I can't, I can't transform. And see, when you go through transformation, you can't live off the old purpose. You see, when Optimus Prime, man, I, man, I think I should have brought my transformers. Uh, when Optimus Prime, uh, he, he, he's, the, he's the leader and he, he, he's the big old 18 wheeler. He's big old 18 wheeler. That's Optimus Prime. And see, Optimus Prime, even though he's Optimus Prime as the truck, there's certain things he can't do as a truck that he can only do as Optimus Prime. And so watch this. When Optimus Prime transformed from the truck into the military robot, you don't see him laying on the ground. You don't, you don't see him trying to roll around, but you see him walking, you see him talking, you see him fighting, you see him doing all kinds of things because when you transform him, then your purpose are different. Okay, let me, somebody said, I don't even know what an Optimus Prime is. Okay, you, you know Clark Kent and you know Superman. You see, uh, Clark Kent and Superman, they, they were the same. They were two in one. Uh, but you never saw Clark Kent flying because that wasn't his purpose. Uh, but when it was time to fly high, he had to go through it. When, when it was time for him to go through some stuff, when it was time for him to be the rescuer, when it was time for him to get the job done, he didn't go. He, the reason why he took his glasses off because now, Superman, he had a new vision. He didn't need no And so I want you to understand, God said, you got to transform. And when I transform you, there's a new purpose. And you can't try to live the old purpose in the new purpose. You never saw Superman walking around with a camera because he was not in that purpose. So God said, I got to, I got to transform you and I'm going to give you a strategy because there is a shift that's about to take place. 
in the ministry. Y'all, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. Okay, y'all, y'all shout too much. Y'all, here we go. All right. Now, let me, let me go to, I want to, I want to, I want to give you this definition. Shift. When something shifts, it means to put, to put something aside. To replace it by another or others. To change or it's changed. To transfer from one place, position, or person to another. Watch this. This didn't this, this my mind. It said to move from one place, position, direction to another. But then look what it says. A shift takes place is to manage to get along or succeed by one sin. Somebody missed what it Somebody missed it. I need somebody to catch that in the Holy Ghost. You've been having folks up there always trying to make you depend on them. God said he's giving you a shift and you're going to be able to watch this to manage, to get along, or to succeed all back. You're going to tell every sugar daddy. 